Good morning, everybody. It's another episode of Lisa's Lowdown on Love. Welcome to 2016. I am psyched because I am talking to you today about your power. We are more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. And so I am going to tell you a little story about something I manifested in my life despite going through probably one of the worst episodes of like depression, low self-worth, like double whammy, divorce, grieving, and breakup grieving. And it occurred to me today, because now I'm like out of it, right? I was in this awful, awful place, and this is like normal. We oftentimes in life get into these like awful, awful places where like it seems like a shit storm of things all happen at once. And sometimes we postpone and prolong, Taz, not that way, let's go this way, um, the um, ad addressing of it, right? So we want to like escape. And so, oh my God, like in my case, oh, I was getting divorced and it was just so sad and I didn't want to deal with like the pain of it. So I whooshed into another relationship and that relationship ended up not working out for all the reasons that it shouldn't have started in the first place because it was coming from a place of sad and fear and lack and all these terrible things, these emotions that aren't going to bring you anything good, right? So, fast forward now, I am breaking up with the boyfriend, I am mourning and grieving the divorce, and I'm like, oh my God, I have to like face these things now, and I'm in it, and I'm miserable, but then simultaneously, in that mess, I lose my job. So now I'm like, great, now the income is shot off too. Everything in my life that was flowing, shut off. But what I now know is that those things, they weren't meant for me. The boyfriend, the husband, the staying separated forever wasn't meant for me. I had already looked at these situations and the deeper part of me said, girl, this isn't for you. And I was like, yeah, this isn't for me. Like, this is bullshit. My boyfriend getting all swirly over his ex-girlfriend and the drama that's in that. That was like early on that I saw that and I said something in my mind to the universe and the universe said, listen, you can hang out in this relationship all you want, but you already launched that little rocket that said, you gotta get out. So we, the universe, will align everything to make sure that you're not gonna be in there for long. So when you resist it and you resist and you push, that's when you hit like that wall. So luckily the wall only was like five months, but once I, got over the wall, check this out. I lose the job and I say, okay, I am not hunting for a job. I am not looking for a job. I am going to attract the job. And when I do, this job is going to be amazing. And I'm gonna know it when I see it. And it's gonna come to me from people that I already know. And it's gonna be the money I wanna make, the money I deserve and the opportunity to make even more money. And you know what? I might even be able to dress casual. I might even be able to be around people who are doing things with digital TV and writing and websites and just all this interesting creative stuff. And lo and behold, while I was swirling around with my little boyfriend, oh my God, my husband, I miss everyone, I'm all alone, where? I got a job. I manifested a meeting through someone who knows someone who knows someone. We connected, I met them for lunch, and I left with a job. And now this job is amazing because it's a new office. We are actually showing up today. We all can dress casual. And the little Tazzer with his new Mohawk can come with me to the office. I said, listen, I live on South Beach and this is a little far. And if I'm working and I'm into what I'm doing, I don't want to have to bag out at like 5.30 because I got to go take care of my dog. So they said, bring the dog. We have Peanut the dog, who's the CEO's pet, and he's three years old. Taz is four. So they're going to hang out and get tired and wrestle and play. And it's going to be this cool open air hipster office with pool table and ping pong. And I'm so excited. I can't even wait. I can't wait to meet everybody and just get started on this new phase of my life. So here's the point. We are much more powerful than we give ourselves credit for, number one. And number two, 
when you approach something from a position of attraction and then you let it go and you just say, I'm just going to attract this. That's it. This is, I feel easy about it. It's going to be awesome. And when I meet these people, I know it's going to be the right job. I know it's going to be the right guy because it's coming to me. I'm not chasing it. It's coming. See? So it's all about me and how I feel, which as you can tell, I feel great and getting your alignment on point so that you are true to what's going on in you. And then from there, you hang out, you take a deep breath, you walk your dog, and you manifest. So uh, check out Abraham Hicks on YouTube for free. That's Abraham Hicks. And get down with some knowledge about law of attraction and see what you can manifest just by getting your mind right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.